we've got nine iconic Korean snacks and six free actors who are gonna try them. Yes! I love Korean food. Are you worried, Paulina? If it's spicy, spice. I know they're gonna come spice. for me. How hungry are you? I'm starving. I'm nine hungry. I'm ready. She's the oh! Wait a minute. I had this cheese? once here. You had Topoki in the Squid Game episode. You had Topoki when you were training to be a K-pop star. Yes! <laughs> That's when I had it! Yes! Kinda so like, like you do it all yourself. Do you microwave little, it? A little sauce packet. So I don't know, those aren't rice cakes. Those are literally what it's called. Yeah. Oh. That looks good. Like mac and Ooh. cheese? Just a quick little oh, stir. Oh, so easy. From Yopoki, we've got one of their instant cheesy topoki snack cups that's ready in a matter of mere minutes. Topoki is perhaps one of Korea's favorite snack dishes, and this cheesy take on a traditionally spicy dish is super tasty. Oh my god, that smells so cheesy. Wow. <gasps> that smells like good cheese, too. Ooh. Oh, Ooh. it smells so good. It's good, and I'm getting better with my spiciness, because if this was old Paulina, she would be like, what? It is pleasing. It makes me think of like a rice and bean burrito with like a little bit of a spicy cheese sauce. Oh, there's a little kick. Oh my God, yeah, the little spice. Mm -hmm. Sneaking up. Okay, I would eat this. Mm -hmm. This would be my dinner. Rice topoki are actually quite healthy. One serving of rice cake contains five grams of fiber, which helps keep your digestive tract running smoothly. This so this is healthy? <gasps> Good for people who are lactose intolerant, because lactate is not a cure-all. <laughs> On a scale of one to 10, what would you rate this and why? I'm gonna do a nine, just because if this wasn't spicy, it would have been perfect. I'm gonna go with a solid eight. I'd give this a solid six. I think for like instant, I didn't expect it to be this quality. I so give bad. it a nine. I'm gonna give it a seven. I give it a 10. Mm. That's my description as to what. Uh, uh, uh. Squirrel. Is that? Oh. oh, I got it. Ooh, it's Korean pocky. They're not pockies, oh, they're peppers. peppers. Isn't that pocky? These are pepper. Ooh, competition, bro. Do you want to watch the video to learn the yeah. proper way to eat them? <laughs> yes, please. There's a proper way to eat these? Yeah, don't do it wrong. Don't do <laughs> is it wrong. Like a hazard? Okay, why is this Ooh. going in so hard? Is it good? You really want one, don't you? I do. Yeah, she's, she's like using it, it she's like, mm. Wow. Oh my goodness. It's a lady in the tramp situation. Whoa. <laughs> That was, I've never seen. November 11th is known as the official Peppero Day in South Korea. And while there are many flavors, we've got the original chocolate covered pretzel stick flavor for you to try today. Nice. I'm not gonna do that with you, but. No, I, I, I don't I'm think sorry. my wife or yeah, my, yeah. my daughter who watches yeah. uh, People vs. Food would yeah. be pretty confused. They do look like Pocky. Mm -hmm. But it's not. But they're better. Well, we'll you'll see. find we'll out. judge of them. I think it tastes better if we try each other's. So true. Okay, you know you know how we're supposed to eat these, right? Oh, I'm so sorry. I think sorry. they taste the same. Okay. Oh, I dropped. I dropped. It, on the outside, it's like the shell of a koala yummy. Do you remember koala yummies? Like the little panda guys? Mm. It kind of has like a similar, just this part. You know what? There's no aftertaste on the pretzel. It reminds me of Pocky a little bit. Just a little bit. So Lati, the company that makes Peppero, and Gilco, who makes Pocky, have been rivals for a very long time. That said, Pocky did come out 17 years before Peppero did. Oh my oh. god! So who copied who? So this is clearly just a rip off of Pocky. Yeah. I mean, they're like, how do we do Pocky but better? These are really good. What's the difference? Yeah, they taste the same. Does that not look like Mr. Hankey from like South Park? He looks like a piece of poop. I'm sorry. These are a lot shorter than Pocky, I feel, though. I honestly like these more than Pocky. <gasps> and they're kind of little <laughs> for stealing the Pocky thing, right? I mean, that makes yeah, sense. Yeah, it's a little up. <laughs> <laughs> you don't, this feels like a little darker chocolate, doesn't it? I'm loving it. So what are we rating these and why? An eight, and I just don't have a big sweet tooth, but they're so good. I would give these an eight. That's a pretty good snack. I rate this a nine, and then I would rate Pocky an eight. Just because really? of the little hint of aftertaste of Pocky's. Oh. <laughs> when you're getting the chalk on the pretzel, like it's done well, but it's not my favorite. I'm gonna give it a six. Whoa, really? It kind of just tastes like a smaller Pocky. I'm gonna give it like a six. What? I no. like sugar just in general, but chocolate's not always my first So you like schlongs, not schlorts. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> This reminds me of my childhood. Banana? Oh. What? That's Jungkook! Oh my god, Jungkook! He's so hot! See, for him, Jungkook also has memories of this, just like I do. Oh, he's so cute! Wow, that's his milk! Did you hear the Usher one? 
<laughs> yes, I heard oh, that. Oh my god, it's that, so that's, good. That's the only one I've heard. Standing be told. next to you. Thingre banana flavored milk is not only South Korea's favorite drink, this brand is the number one selling banana milk brand in the country. So the ingredients say milk, water, Check sugar, dextrin, and then banana juice concentrate. Artificial banana flavoring is just not my thing. It's so good. It's Jungkook's thing though. Oh, you like Jungkook. No, no, have a little bit more. Korean banana milk is popular amongst all ages. Banana milk is popular because it's light and not too sweet. Exactly, it's not too sweet. <laughs> She already had the whole thing. Mmm, it tastes like a Laffy Taffy! What? It's not bad. I feel like we're in like a commercial for, can you just do one like that? You might want to save some for later. <laughs> it is getting more like the Laffy Taffy as I get more of the flavor it's build so up. It's so good! Yeah. But Wait, that's actually pretty good. good. It's really good, yeah. That's actually really good. It doesn't taste like milk. Okay, John Cook. Oh, yeah. I'm giving this a nine. <laughs> really? That's really <laughs> high. I'm gonna give this one a 10. <laughs> this is really good. <laughs> Yeah, this definitely hits 10. I give this one a six. I'm very picky with any sort of drink. So this is good. I'm gonna go with an eight. I'm a banana guy, that's a nine for me. Oh my goodness. I've had a turtle chip before here on this channel. They smell really good. They do. They smell so good. Cheers. Oh my God. What? Turtle chips. Uh-huh. What flavor? Oh, oh, they're so crunchy. crunchy. They're so uh -huh. Oh, it's in the layers, okay. okay. Often considered addictive, turtle chips are a well-loved corn chip with four layers of crispy and puffy crunch. While they have a ton of flavors, we got their classic corn and sweet chocolate churro to satisfy your K-munchies. I'm gonna try this chocolate churro. This looks like everything I want. Mm. Oh mm. my God. I can 100% taste the corn. Like in the middle, you can feel it. Why is it so soft? Oh my God. What? That is life-changing. What just happened to my what? mouth? Oh, when they say sweet corn, they mean it. That's like fresh off the fair grill. This is really good. I'm scared to give these a 10, but I want to really bad. So Are delicate, me? so light, so flaky. So flaky, so fluffy. It's airy. It's like I'm, oh. I'm eating a cloud. My God. How do they get the texture so it's good? It's so good. Like, the more I'm chewing, the more I'm like, I'm really enjoying this. Yeah. <laughs> the unique I, texture took eight years to develop. Honestly, not long enough. And they have a yes. patent on it for oh, 20 they years. As they should. I'm cold. This is really good. These well, are my really favorite good. chips. There's a like addictive. Oh my gosh. I want more. Yeah. Oh, you don't like it. Oh, he doesn't like it. No, I have to inspect the flavor. <laughs> there are eight in his That's mouth. So good. What? I should have never been shown these. It's like they dehydrated a churro. This is not 70% air. That's full. Lay's could never. I'm rating this a 10 out of 10. I'm gonna give another 10. I think it's a clear 10. The sweet corn flavor is great. This is great. You can taste exactly the corn. You can taste the churros. I would also There's give it a 10. This is a 10. These are 10s. Ten. Absolutely 10. What is this? Oh, more tofoki? Hot and spicy green snack. <laughs> yeah. I'll be okay, I guess. These look scary to me, though. These I are like... like the rice cakes we just had, but chip form. It doesn't have much of a smell. <laughs> you okay there, Noah? Yeah, I got in my everything. <laughs> kimchi! Ooh, is it kimchi flavor? Yes, I want oh it. Oh my god, dude. Kimchi. I literally can eat kimchi out of like a bowl. Sweet after I'm honestly kind of scared. I like how they're like, personally, I don't like it. <laughs> they also were uh, holding them with gloves. Yeah. So, like, maybe it's a scary snack? If you like instant topoki, then get ready for topoki chips. Made with gochujang flavor, each crunchy bite is a sweet and tangy with a little spicy tingle. Just a little spicy tingle. I These feel are like... so good. Why is it so sweet? It tastes like a frosted flake. <sighs> wow, flavor, wow. Okay, oh. okay. It's, it's so more good. sweet than spicy, yeah. you feel it after. It reminds me of sweet and sour sauce. It's like a frosted flake, but with like just some extra seasoning. Yeah. I don't taste the spice. It's just a little bit. They say the snacks are slightly sweeter than spicy and each stick is addictive enough to be the perfect companion for your K-drama marathons. Oh, so good. Have you seen my demon on Netflix? Oh my God, I'm halfway through my demon. <laughs> also like, again, this bag is full. Yeah, I don't know what I have doing. a problem with America. <laughs> <laughs> I give this one a seven. Why can't I change it? I might make it a six. Oh, why'd you give me that look? Don't give me that look. No, no we're keeping the original rating, I'm sorry. No, no, okay. she said six. <laughs> I'm gonna give it a six. I don't think it was better than the topoki. I would say a seven. seven. Yeah. I'd give it an eight. It was honestly surprising. I liked it. Turtle chips was a 10. This is a seven. Chico pie, Thank this you. is so cute. This looks really good. Read it again. Oh, oh choco, choco pie! pie. <laughs> Wait, I'm so excited! Is this a matcha choco pie? I'm a greasy pumpkin girl. Can tell. I can like snort it, dude. I love the packaging, right? It looks just cute. It looks like a choco pie. Open it. Go, go. Yeah! yeah. 
Okay, the reveal. I like the reveal. Oh. Oh, wow. They're making me excited for the food. They're selling yeah. it well. Slightly bitter green tea and rich chocolate combined to make the ultimate sweet treat that's not too sweet. These latte choco pies have a luscious marshmallow filling, a sandwich between green tea pastry covered in a delicious candy coating. Latte is the same company that makes Pepero. Regular choco pies are the thing that are huge in Korea, but we figured most people have had them. So we got you the matcha. Ooh, this oh, is not working as well. You just gotta... Oh yeah, you did that correctly. Oh. Um, <gasps> Pão de mel in Brazil. It smells the, the, like pão um, de mel. The, oh, yeah. On the melopo. Oh, 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 yeah. yeah. Seasoned cocoa pie professional right there. I like the marshmallow and the chocolate. I like how soft the cake is. Not cake, but mm -hmm. the green tea. Well, I mean, I feel like I know what to look for when having green tea, mm -hmm. though. I don't really taste the matcha. Hold on, wait. No. Let me think about it. Kind of dry. It's really soft. You guys are really big into textures. <laughs> right? <laughs> The very chocolate's light. very overpowering. Mm -hmm. I feel like I don't really get any matcha. That kind of makes me sad. The green color reminds me of the trees <laughs> in my neighborhood. What? <laughs> I don't know. No more texture, green colors. It's not too sweet though. Mm -mm. It's definitely not like overly sugar. Tastes like mint, but not a lot. I don't taste the green tea. My belly. Am I tripping? Melody. The brown reminds me of... <laughs> I would rate it a six. I give it a nine. I give it an eight. I'm gonna give this one a, a six. I'm gonna give it a five. I don't taste the green tea, so I feel like that would have been higher. No, I'll, I'll eat it. It's like a five for me though. I'm like, uh, I could take it or leave it. Honey butter. Oh my goodness, look at the man. <laughs> look, look at the potato, I should say. Yeah. It's like you can smell the cheese. There's probably this cheese this in this. This reminds me close to Jollibee. Oh. Wow. Look at that happy they little look potato like guy. Lady. <laughs> He's so cute. <laughs> Let's potato do it. Tits. Okay. <laughs> That's so funny. Yeah. Three, Good two, for hand again. hand size comparison. It seems like a really soft crunch. We'll put it up to our face. Like this is the size of the chip, just uh, comparatively to my cheek. Have you ever had a honey butter chip? Calvi Honey Butter's chips are a light texture potato chip with that extra flavor of sweet honey and butter. Honey butter sounds like that should be an American flavor. Yeah. Why do we not have honey butter chips? Oh, great job, yeah. Cheers. Cheers. Oh, what a, it's such a journey. They were a super viral snack in South Korea. It caused the honey butter craze in South Korea. Calvi couldn't keep up with production fast enough for these, so chips, bags of chips were going for like 50 bucks. What? Honestly, I've had six or seven of these and they're already like a top five chip for me. Yeah, honestly, this is kind of bomb. It's, it's like right those now. things where you can't like pinpoint the flavor, it's so unique, and then you just keep going. Yeah. And then you finish the bag and you're like, I'm still confused. <laughs> I'm eating like a honey butter roll, <laughs> but in a pretzel, it's so weird. It tastes like Lay's. Mm -mm. It's way better. Can you taste like three different flavors at the same time? Oh my God. Right? It kind of has that like Lay's taste almost, like the aftertaste, like mm -hmm. when you eat a Lay's chip. Yeah, but that middle where it tastes like popcorn. The oh. popcorn is good. Wow. It's really good. No wonder they're viral. There's like a little chive. A little oh, there's bit. a little classy chive in there. I'm raising you to 10. I'm I, going to eight. Yeah, I might do eight. A 10. I'm gonna give this one a nine. I agree. This is a clear nine out of 10. I don't think it's as good as the turtle chips, but it's definitely qualifier. Oh my God. Yes, I have this. <laughs> You've had this? Oh, I can smell it from here. Yeah, it's spicy. <laughs> There's no way. <laughs> Nicole, this is a bit. Oh my God. Oh, that's that's our boy. Wow, look at him. Yes. 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 We love oh, him. Love Benny. I've seen this. I commented on that. His videos are always so good. I love Benny. That's right there. Why? It's giving oh, okay. mac and cheese. It's giving mac and cheese. Okay. Damn. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I'll be oh, actually so much really bad. That, that scares me. Oh, that's oh slurp. Hi, Benny. That's slurp. Ooh. It's very spicy, but very good to me. He had a milder one than this one. <laughs> Full Doc, this is the ultimate hot and spicy stir fried ramyun that's both delicious and quite addicting if you can handle the heat. Well, it was banned in Mexico for misleading consumers into oh. thinking that it contained chicken. <laughs> that's so funny. They were pissed there was no chicken in it. Oh. Mm -hmm. Tell me how spicy it is so I can know how much to She's get. She's gonna freak out. In the, okay, I'm gonna have a small bite. Oh, wait, are you sure? No, I think I got the time to do spice. <sighs> Ooh. Mm. Okay, it's so spicy. <laughs> it's definitely spicy. My mouth is Ooh, burning. You can, see, you can see the seeds in my mouth. Oh, oh, this really is about good. to be so good. Just oh, so God. That Ooh. calms my spices down. Which one is more spicy? Really? No, I don't believe you. Let me try that. There's so no way. More. I'm gonna get the hiccups. It's creeping. Ooh. 
Ooh. It's coming. Okay. Okay, so far so good. I had one what? small bite. What? Okay. Okay. It's gonna hit. It's the hot Cheetos, I'm telling you. I think mine was spicier, to be honest. Yo, what a challenge. It's crazy you should make hot. us. It's so freaking hot. <coughs> it's now so I have bad. my throat. What are we rating this and why? 10. Dude, I'd give this a 9 out of 10. <laughs> this is the best instant spicy ramen I've ever had. I'm going 9 on it. I really, I love it. It's really good. 10 out of 10. Let's give it a, a 7. If I'm gonna have a reaction like this every time I eat three noodles, I can't eat this. Like, I'm sorry. I'll give it a one because it's creative. That looks good. It's sweet, probably. Yay! Kind of looks like a mini bunt cake. It looks like a little, like a cruller almost. Yaqua! Feels like a um, pineapple Ginger upside juice. down cake, kind of. Honey. Oh! Soju. Oh, Soju. it's got a little booze in it. Okay. So it's honey in it, which is really good. Ooh, that looks good. They're fried? Okay. So it's kind of like a Korean shortbread cookie? So they're like, like little cake. honey cakes. Yakwa cookies are a deep fried layered cookie made with honey, sesame oil, ginger, and soju and covered in a sweet sticky syrup. Their distinct flavor makes this cookie unique and irresistible. Oh, nice. Ooh, yum. Wow. It's thicker than I expected. And it's not as sweet as I expected. Mm -hmm. It kind of makes me think of like a dried date, even though like it's not fruit at all. Not what I expected. No. That's very interesting. I don't think I've ever had something like this. These cookies are traditionally served on Korean festival days like Chuseok, birthdays, or ancestral rites. I can mm -hmm. see why birthdays is really good. It has like a cake texture, but then also like chewy. Really dense. Yeah, super dense. I'd rate these like an eight. I'd give it an eight. I think it's a solid dessert. I'm just gonna give it an eight too. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna go a seven. It is better with the sesame seeds. Yeah. With the sesame seeds, it's a seven. I would also do an eight. Like it's like good, but it's it wouldn't be a 10. We've tallied up the scores and with a perfect 60 across the board. Everybody gave it a 10. The turtle chips were hands down everyone's favorite Korean snack of the day. Turtle chips. I want a turtle chip in every Target. They were really like, soft. Those are really, really, it's really good. good. I'm not surprised. Like, yeah. that was really good. And it's really light. Turtle chips. I love turtle great. chips. <laughs> I gotta get to a Korean Target, man. Get yourself some turtle chips, because those are a 10 out of 10. Thank you guys so much for watching this Trying Korean Snack Food episode. Let us know what you thought in the comments. Also, be sure to check out what? What? Our new channel. Oh yeah, BBF Chef. Where we're gonna do a lot of insane challenges. Hopefully not like this. This makes me really scared. Why, it looks really good. Oh God, all right, bye guys. Wish me luck. Mm -hmm. Oh, that was really good. Ah, it's yummy. Oh, yeah, it's not bad. You okay? Nope. I'm gonna have a good time. No, no. Bye. Woo! That's really hot! Really? That's really hot!